I said, there is firepower on Genji. That's what there was being talked about on the desk there. There is firepower on Genji. They can give OG a run for their money, but... Uh, Listen, I yeah. I hope it's going to turn out that way. I think it's going to be a fucking mess, Sumlo. And You do? Yes. I think it's <laughs> going to be an absolutely <laughs> wild ride. Doesn't mean it's going to be not entertaining. I just think it's maybe yeah, going to be a, a little bit of a confusing game for Gen G. But I'd love to be proved wrong, which has been happening a lot recently. So I know. mean, dude, it's we have not had... I mean, no joke. This is how Pinnacle make their money. It's like guys like us who are just putting points in there. It's exactly right. Oh. We're all the way down there. That's a nice little little peek there. And I think that was also Isa pushing into T main, which is generally uh you know, that's that's some good information. It's not gonna confirm everything, but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth something, right? Shooting them in the knees, like it was die hard all over <laughs> again. Shooting them in the legs, Anders. Apparently it can be done. Yeah, I guess so. Um they haven't heard anyone at, in T main, they haven't heard anyone at Ivy, and that's <laughs> that's they didn't get a lot out of that. <laughs> oh, they got a smoke though. Look at that. Yeah, he's got a smoke. It could uh, swap out. That was a Glock though. Okay, on automatic. I thought it was a P250 for a second there. But this is going to be a B execute uh, coming in. You have a lurk coming in from Kusta. He's over at Ivy right now. A uh, reminder that Kusta is currently calling the shots for Gen G, and that can be a tell. You know that OG are going to be aware of that information, and that may influence how they react when they see him on the map where his positioning is. If he's all the way out here on the flank like this, could make OG think that it's going to be B. What are they doing? They just threw their last smoke on the Gen G side, so that's already out, and it's sort of blocking off between the trains over at B, as you can oh, tell. Oh, never mind. Oh, there is a huge rotation. How have they just... I mean, I think oh. still this retake could absolutely happen, but they've sold it so far. Kusta with a great flank, and that's going to be huge. Now, he doesn't even have to get any more kills. Just stay alive back here. Don't get found out. This is actually doable. It's going to be interesting to see. Man 2 will take down Ben Tet right away. The bomb is down at the very least, and Kusta is showing up, tickling them a little bit with that Glock. And again, a couple of shots is all you need. Stay alive. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, Coaster coming in. Big kill to take down Isa. Mantu falls next. The bomb is no longer being defused, and suddenly it looks like Gen G are able to pick up this pistol. I can't see how Valda could fight his way out. It's Coaster with the triple kill. That is such a miracle that they make that work. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get mad at OG if this is how they decide to go, if they throw fundamentals completely out the window. So going into this match, that's what I was saying. You have enough firepower to measure up against Gen G. Yeah. No problem, OG. So what you need is to have the discipline of an actual team. You need to go back to the fundamentals and work on that, work with that, abuse the fact that you have more experience as a roster. But over-rotating so massively without having seen anybody apart from Kusta, no bomb, no nothing, just rotating everybody off B. Come on now, let's calm down a little bit here, OG. You're still going to have to take these guys seriously. This isn't full pug. Well, not yet, Samla, but, you know... That hug is also, it's always lurking right on the surface, isn't it? You know, we're on thin ice here in this we game, are. I reckon. It won't take a lot. Just one false move and, and we're going to crash through right into, right into that space. I, I actually would really like to rewatch that first round because I'm really not sure exactly what it was that, I mean, th they had one smoke on B and then like, what was it, just Kusta making noise over at A and they were like, yeah, all right, let's go. Yeah, ran out on A and they were just like, oh, sweet. They saw him Ivy, spotted him Ivy and that was the road. Like, almost, they just spotted him and they, they rotated. I'd almost say that over-rotation was so much that I almost I almost feel like they must have practiced against each other and, and sort of sold them the idea that they mm -hmm. like doing. Like, it's almost too much to for, for OG just to buy that, you know? I think that uh, OG are just not as, not expecting much from Gen.G. They're probably expecting very straightforward strategies, and so when they see Kusta, they're like, okay, cool, this is going to be an A split. Let's just rotate over and smash him, right? Oh, buddy. Kusta's going to win out versus Alexi B, and there's a shot coming in. Freeze catches Velda looking the wrong way. They've got double HE, so just keep that in mind, guys. If they go for the bomb plant here, let's see if they could line it up. It's not going to be just quite yet. Yeah, Mantu's going to put down one of them, and it's on Ben's head. He's got all the health, so that won't make a big difference. But for a second there, I actually thought maybe they could have done something cool where they sort of time it with mm -hmm. the bomb plant. That could have been really fun. Doesn't look like that's what really is what in store here. They picked up the AK that um, automatic threw away out in the yard early on, and I, I'm, I was very seriously questioning what that was about, but it seems like it hasn't really had any impact on this round, so I guess fair play to Gen G. Good round. Oh, man. Did you know you can sit on the on the on the faucets in these showers? That sounds extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. <laughs> these aren't really comfortable <laughs> looking showers anyway, are they? Like, no, I mean, it's kind of just opened up onto the office as well here, you know. 
It's yeah, like get a uh, snack, take a shower real quick, get a snack while you're doing it. I don't know. That's an incredibly the... liberal office policy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. if you go and get something in that fridge, you're just essentially, like, if you just, like, slightly to the right, you're like, oh. What is this, this Finland? Is colleagues just showering, my like, guys. What's up? Oh, this is in Russia, after all. That is true, yeah. Um, so they've got a strong sauna culture out there. Maybe sure they're going to have a sauna at the, uh, at the train station. Yeah, well, you're not wrong. Third round here. And that scout is still in play. Didn't do anything really exciting last round. Exist. Just throwing some bullets out there. Why not? They're going to be pretty pretty quick about it here. Not messing around. MBK with a good kill before he went down. But I like this. I like this pace currently for, uh, for Gen G. Although... They actually slowed down just as I was saying that, but I was going to say, if you wanted to have that upset win, I feel like just exploding into this game and, and sort of, you know, overwhelming OG a little bit would be the way yeah. to do it. If this is the winning strategy. Get in there fast. They're, you have nothing to lose if you're Genji. Absolutely nothing to lose. Nobody's expecting anything because you're a pug coming into this pretty much. You haven't had any time to play together or to practice together, exist as a stand in these sorts of situations, right? So the, the winning formula for you is to embrace the pug life and just get in there fast, play chaotic, and let OG overestimate, or rather underestimate, right? Overestimate their abilities, underestimate, you know, but essentially not take you seriously, and that'll get you some rounds, like we're seeing here. I really think this is OG kind of coming into this, like, haha, okay, cool, guys, uh, we're just going to be playing as a pug, let's get in here and just smash them real quick. And um, they're, they're not, uh, they're giving uh, Gen G. Uh, opportunities and rounds that they probably wouldn't give to other teams, right, that they're a little bit more prepared for. So right now it's 3-0 for Gen.G on the T side of uh, Train. And yeah, OG and I mean, finally going to get that buy going. It's, it's obviously too early to be alarmed in any way. I mean, uh, I don't know, dude. OG have disappeared completely from series before, though, so now I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I, no, I'm not. <laughs> Just not a little bit worried. Not, not even one tiny little grain of worry. Just a little bit worried. Nothing at all. Just a bit. No, it's the best of three, Sam Lo. It's only the first three rounds they do. It's the only one with the pistol. That's it. Hey, Anders, you and I have watched yeah. FCS, man. Three rounds tells a story. Listen, <laughs> let's, when we get to the middle of this half or something, I'll, I'll, I'll revisit this. I'll tell you what I think at that point in time. For now, just waiting for it. Smart Molotov back there. Um, let's see. Manta looks like he wants to repick. This could be the beginning of a really good early start for Gen G if they can win this fight. He's had a bit of a strange off angle, and it's a one and done with the AWP. If he misses this, Bentet will absolutely take him down. And Bentet, though, also patient on the other side. Good return there from Kriaz, I'm assuming, to take down MBK. I'm just calling him Kraze. Kraze. It could yeah. be that, too. Someone to find out. I don't know how you would, but... <laughs> All right. See, the thing is, Mantu is still up there, so they can so they can happily be three three people out in the A yard at the moment, or at least over towards the A side of the map. Because as long as he's holding this position, they, they already feel like, all right, it's fine. Nice counter Molotov to buy some more time. That's pretty important. Luckily, body blocks that smoke as well, so it's not perfect. If they don't know that, and you're already going to have Valder rotating off. So it is looking like this is going to be the A split in a moment here as they make their way out through Ivy. OG looking to get on the board in a big way here. Lexi B is going to catch one. Still does not have to worry. There's that smoke up. It's going to be very difficult for Gen G to get in here and punish this. And Issa still hasn't even given away his position. Yeah. And that is really huge. I think you're absolutely right to point that out. 15 seconds on the clock, and they're starting to see if they can make their way out. There was Isa coming in, and now there's absolutely nothing here. Automatic better save that AWP. And OG find a way to calm down at least this round for now. Although, I mean, you know, if Mantu doesn't win that fight over there, who knows if then the next thing that happens is MBK goes down and suddenly it's a five on three. So, you know, it's a pretty good round for OG, but there are some things you could have uh, you could have been worried about in this one too. Hmm. No bomb plant. No bomb plant. This is where it gets weird though. If Genji starts slowing down, this is playing to OG's strengths, 100%. I definitely think so, yeah. So they, I th really do think that Genji need to embrace the chaos and just play fast, play quick, play loose, and just get in there looking for some duels. So hopefully we'll see that change of pace now here from uh, Genji that they'll be able to get in here and look for some fights, maybe catch OG getting greedy again. And well, that's MBK through the smoke, going to take Kusta out. Ah, uh, Mantu, you see they were ready this time. Automatic with that AWP, had the angle on Mantu, and it's a four-on-four four going onto the B site here for Gen.G. Yep, and they're actually waiting for them. Pretty good smoke to 
Create a little bit of cover. They're going to boost over it, in fact. That could be dangerous, but it's going to work just fine. Nice shot from Alexi B. Some deep grenades. Exist is actually going to take that one right to the face, but it is not done yet. Still a three on three. There's no flank coming in anymore. The whole retake is going to be happening here from inside of the B bomb site. They have a couple of smokes, so they could do a lot, but they would love to get one more kill. And that's not going to happen. Exist lurking at the outside of the smoke, and he's able to just get a bit of a one way looking over it to take down Alexi B. That's really cool. And now they can relax a bit more here on the Gen G side. In fact, as you can tell, the OG team is so far away now that it almost looks like they've already decided make it expensive and then give up the round. And that's what they've done here. Some shots. Oh, it's not that far away. Exist. Can he make it out? I think he's going to be close to dying here. Yeah, that's it. The bomb just reaches him. No way. It's rough. So, um, a I mean, it's an expensive round. But um, Gen G, that's they actually did a good job of winning this round. Wait, does the AWP get blown up towards him? Craze, right? Craze? Does he actually just does that AWP? I mean, is that just <laughs> Gaben giving him a little wink? Like, ah, right, you lost existence, but you're happy. This is what you really wanted to save, anyways. You can have this one. That's a good. I don't know. Mm, okay. Well, fourth round on the board for Gen G. Again, there we go. Quick play. Nice little read on the tendency there. Montu trying to play um, aggressive. Gets caught out, a little bit too predictable there. Genji play off of that, and that nets them another round. Very well done here from Genji. I like it. Straightforward stuff. And they're in position right now to pinch onto A early as well. Hmm. Yeah, have slowed it down a bit now. Waiting to see if OG are gonna are gonna try anything. Uh, they're watching uh, T main there. I think it's Kusto who's keeping us a, a slight eye on, eye on it every once in a while, which is just fine. But yeah, you can spend some time here if you want, especially because you know OG's economy won't be that good. So they're probably just seeing how many grenades are they going to be using. If they, you know, any smoke that goes down now from the CT side, the T's will count as a as a bit of a victory. And OG are actually doing a fair job at holding on to their own smokes. It's going to be a flash set up here. Well, maybe Mantu's just scoped up for now, so I guess it could be the other way around too. But I was almost ready for it. We'll see. What does he want to do? Even if he misses the shot here, I mean, I'm assuming Valda is going to swing right into that fight. So, could be real dangerous. Instead, it looks like Kriyas is going to be setting up a smoke. And Valda, what does he want to do? Just walking backwards. All right. If that gets spammed, it could get really awkward. <laughs> Playing with games here. And right on the edge where that smoke clears could give him a little bit of an advantage. As he waits on the other side, yep. Oh, Craze is going to react in time. Montu's there to trade it, though. Brings it back to a four-on-four. Four. Isa takes one with him as well. That was crucial. You needed to make this a three-on-three three for OG to have a chance at holding. They're going to go for it, but, I mean, one death here. And it, yeah, they're done already, I think. How do you pick that up and go for the plant? NBK goes down. I, oh. Yeah, but they're out of time no matter what. That is the problem. Mantu just has to live. Oh, wow. That did get a little bit close, but again, the time that's left, you have to, you, you really have to be banking on the fact that there is the entire rotation to the B bomb side already, and it just wasn't. But an expensive round for OG. I mean, I actually think Genji not going to be happy they lost the round, but I think in in a, in a broader sense, this is actually not that bad at all. They're already up four to two. They're doing a lot of economic damage. They should be feeling all right. Oh, it looks like some kind of timeout's getting um, put into play here. Is it tech or tack? Technical pause. Technical timeout getting called here. Um, as we are going to get a quick reset here, and we should be able to get back into it. Usually those problems don't take too long to resolve. Yes, you have to hope for, but uh, maybe obviously, you know, want everyone to be able to speak to each other inside of the server. That is going to be it's going to be critical. Um, and communication usually turns it you know, turns out it's a good thing, Anders, right? It, yeah, it can really make the, the difference at the end of it. Don't get to quite hear enough of it these days, but um, yeah, it's sort of a, a fundamental feature of the game, I suppose. Um, I've, this seventh round, because they keep just losing so many rifles on the CT side, you know, they're not in that position where it's just like, oh, let's just win like, you know, one or two rounds, and then we've got like the massive economy and it's all working out. You could see they have to, they have to sort of spare grenades. They have to think about how they use those all the time. I think Genji are they're definitely outperforming my expectations for now. It could obviously could change a bit, and I'm sure OG, you know, once they get a little bit more used to the style here, maybe mm -hmm. it'll maybe it'll also start to look a little bit better for them. But yeah, so far so good. What's the second map? Second map was Dust Two. Yeah, that caught everyone off guard. But for Genji, that's probably pretty cool. 
It's got, very good. Got the aim for it then. Just no, they've got. Yeah, that's the thing. They've got the aim. If they can just make this chaotic, if they turn it into a series of duels, they can win out. If it goes to the end of the round, as we've seen now, where they basically lost to the clock twice, that's where they're going to hurt. That's where it's going to get real difficult for them. But if they can play quick, just get in there and try and get chaotic, they can think that this is going to get real fun. Nicely done there. Automatic times Monto perfectly. Right behind that flash, frustrating start there for Montu. MBK recovers that AWP, but now it's going to be Action Valda. Going to spot the first one by. Two guys there ready to rush him down. He's going to be hard-pressed to survive this, but somehow he's still doing it. He's still here. He's really nice control. He should have jumped down and then went back up again, so they wouldn't know exactly where he is. Now back up is a little bit further away, and Valda's not going to get that second kill that he desperately needed. That would have absolutely changed the tie, but suddenly it's a two-on-three. Two on four, actually. Two of them are pretty low on the Gen G side, so you know you, you could still turn it, but he needed that double kill for sure. There's so much time on the clock that Gen G slowing this down makes a lot of sense. Quick jump down there, automatic, getting shot in the toes a bit. Yeah. That's an unfortunate turn of events there for Issa. Feel like that should be a that should be a freebie. Look at how low they all are. 34, 41, 38 health on three of those players there for uh, for Gen G, but it doesn't. I mean, it it doesn't have to matter yet. You can still win this by just getting a kill on either bomb side, and no one is going to try and go for that four on one retake. It's not even clear that they know how much damage they've been doing. Let's see, Ezer up here, grenade in on the one side, oh, flashbang to force him down up on the high ground, and he doesn't even realize that's going to be the round for sure. Even NBK. Almost, <laughs> he's got one health left. One HP, yeah. All right. Well, let's see it. Bomb's going to get planted. Easy peasy. And they can even go out and try and hunt this. It's not like they have a bunch of money in the bank, but... Well, really. you know it's an orb, so the incentive is a little bit higher to try and, and get it out of the out of the game, at least for, for a minute here. I'm really, it really feels to me like now OG are taking... They're taking a... You know, a lot of forward battles, and that could that could also be a you know an attempt to establish some kind of you know dominance early on. You know, saying you know what, like you saw Man Mantu trying to do it a couple of times, Val did this round. Mm -hmm. Don't necessarily mind that approach, but uh, obviously, eventually, if it if it really is not working and and no one is is sort of connecting with those early kills, m maybe you have to call it off. I think it kind of works against you. It's like yes, you have the aim, but what you have that they don't is depth to the game, right? Or you should. But then again, I mean, this is still train, and so that was mentioned on the desk going into this. I mean, this is Genji kind of going for um, for a weak map, as far as OG are concerned, and so trying to, you know, make it a bit scrimmy, trying to turn some duels in here, but also relying on OG not having as much experience, not being as as comfortable on train. I mean, this is this could be a winning um, formula for Genji to kick off the series. It's a must-win map for him. So. First tactical timeout getting called here by Genji. Hmm. And so far, so good. I mean, this they take the AWP away. This is going to be a hard eco from OG. It's looking better and better for them. Yeah, uh. I actually think they've done a remarkable job. It's even worse because OG's round loss bonus is really messed up because they've been trading, you know, like the two rounds they have weren't consecutive. So as a result, the two losses they have aren't consecutive. There's... It's a lot of weird things that are happening right now, that, and they seem to be favoring Gen G. I'm, I'm really impressed. I think this is, this is great news. I did, way, way too soon. I think still to, to really, to call it in terms of, uh, of OG doing much. Because I still, I still wonder what happens if they get enough money to have, you know, everything, and they, they don't give up some of those early duels. I think there is like a plan B in some sense. There has to be for OG to sort of say, let's just play a little bit more default. But. Um, now they're down at Ivy with a flash set up. Sure, and that works. Exist is going to get caught here. He's got some backup arriving now, but he is still all the way out alone. Takes a wide angle, too. So big chance here for uh, Montu at least to pick up an M4. Kray's looking to cut them off, though. Isa is low. One bullet will do it. There you go. Does not uh, know where Montu has run off to, but that's Montu probably just going to try and hold on to this M4. If he does, that's a full set of nades next round. Fully equipped. Yeah, definitely the smarter choice. But six to two again. T side train. I mean, this is one of the few maps that is currently left that can be still be pretty CT sided if you if you get off to a, a good start and all that. So I think Genji are really uh, really looking good at the moment. Kreas has got nine and three, so 
he's performing really well. One of the players that we knew not that much about coming into this. Mm -hmm. Good sign, I would say. And Ben Ted is at uh, six and three, so you know nothing super explosive, but definitely putting up a good game so far. Yeah, oh. yep, spotted. Spotted. But this is big, as you can see. Now you have an M4 that's in play. Oh, just a hundred dollars short for Monty. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, he would have loved to have picked up that ult. That would have been sick. I'm Unfortunately, going for it. uh, it's not going to happen for him. So it's just going to be rifles across the board here for OG. But this is somebody being fully equipped with a uh, with um, everything that they need, kit, full set of nades, and that's going to be Alexi B taking that. So he will be able to carry that M4 over, and he will have extra gear going into this key round. Six to two, Genji in the lead on the T side. And OG looking to fight back. Craze, though, really quick out through main. And he may have spotted, he may have spotted Alexi B's shadow. He's certainly well aware. Calling in for a Molotov. That could definitely be behind that. Yep, some good little attention to detail. MBK grenaded once and a second time. He's, he's not enjoying that whatsoever. Alexi B nearly catching it, but Craze will still pick up the kill on MBK. In spite of the communication and everything, it just wasn't enough. HE will do a little bit, but they've actually really confused this A defense. You could tell. And he's just going to continue. Oh. Huge double for him right now. Dude, that was sick. Just waits out that flash as well. No fear at all. He knew that he had Alexi dead to rights. So two-man advantage for Gen G in this round. And OG right now are getting swarmed. They're getting swamped. Let's see, Valda and Issa, last two alive. And now this is drawn out long enough for them to start wondering if this is going to be a B site hit. Spread out, OG. It's only Issa alive on A. Molly comes in. He's going to be forced around the corner. And pretty soon he should be going down. Although Valda's going to get the flank. Issa and Valda each finding a kill. Valda, this is dangerous. He, he can't really get any cover. Yeah, they know where he is. He does not have a defuse kit. He's got no grenades or anything else. So. He would need to get that kill that he was just uh, battling against Kusta for almost immediately, and then still it would have been hard to, to track down automatic at the end of it. But now that now that they've sort of fallen a little bit back and are playing it a little bit more safely, it's just going to be hard all the way around. Automatic trying to see if he gets to catch him there. Valde goes down at the very end. So nice round out of Genji. They take all the rifles. They're up 7-2. to two, And OG look real uncomfortable. This is one of those stats now where I'm kind of wondering. But I always get the feeling that A train must be, if not the hardest bomb site to retake, maybe second hardest. It's really high up there, yeah. You know? There are it's a lot like, of issues. Yeah, there was dust two, like B site dust two, nightmare mode. Yeah. But I always feel like A site train is just insane. All the angles that yeah. somebody has to hide, you, it's just so difficult to win. Right, and whereas, you know, B on dust two is, is tricky because of the choke points, you're right. A on this map, and maybe to some extent even B on this map, is, is hard because of, the, yeah, just the amount of angles, right? You can get in there, but how do you check everything? It's just not that easy. Again, a push up from uh, NB Caver on the one side, man, two. Ooh, that's a nice find. Big double for him. Alexi's going to take down Kriya's. Gen G, I mean, the focus here needs to just, you know, stay all the way at the top because there's no point in throwing away rounds like these. I mean, th those were some good pistol kills, but still, they need to make sure they absolutely win these rounds. NBK exploding exists face, and that is going to leave Automatic alone in a one versus four. So not a lot that he could do here unless, again, they start fighting him one at a time. That made me happy there for a second. NBK exploding exists face. You know, it's like, oh, what year is this? It's, yeah. Those guys have been going head to head for how long now? <laughs> Got some history, don't they? Oh, and a missed shot. Well, a weird, surprising third round somehow being picked up by OG. This is the this is a gift that would almost be disrespectful if they don't if they just throw it away and lose these next rounds. Like this is where they this is where they need to say to themselves. I'm sure they are. Win all these rounds back. It's gonna be five, seven. Oh, sorry, eight, seven here. Just let's mm -hmm. go. You know, get the next five rounds. Oh yeah. Get the Nikes 5, smash him. I mean, double AWP now for OG on the CT side. And it's going to be the force buy coming in from Gen G. They could afford an AWP. Automatic, he's been uh, he's been doing decently well. Nothing spectacular. But he's just been whittling away at them. Bentet, there's the flash into a main. There's the push. Pusta, still going to manage to get one. And he could even set himself up for a second here. NBK will trade him. That took so long, to though. And now NBK kind of caught in the corner, full flash, doesn't matter, still gets the kill. These are big plays coming in here from OG. 
They are the Molotov. He's going to run into it. That's so dangerous. He's out of bullets. Oh, no. NBK. That surely would have been a kill right away. He's on one health automatic. Hard to even really comprehend. Yeah, smoking up for his teammate. He, he might as well do what he can with these grenades while he's still got a chance to stay alive. And weirdly, Chris has got instead of Mac 10. So awkward round all across the board here. Just what Genji want. Or go for the bomb plant. Yes, exactly. To get this bomb plant down and then you can cut them off. Of course, B-side, as you can see, so many places that they could potentially hide. But he's just going to go ahead, get this bomb planted. And, well, they definitely know now, OG. They are on the wrong bomb site. Yeah. Here's the thing. Having automatic up there with the orb is so amazing. But they have so many grenades and he's on one health. So let's just see... Chris in this corner. Val, they're going to go check for him. Mac 10 will actually stand up to that. And now he's going to run. No, actually, they're not quick enough here. They're a little bit slow, so he's going to get a double kill instead. I thought he was locked in already. <laughs> oh, no. This is odd. The grenade leaves him on two health. <laughs> There's no winning. I can't believe it. No this, way. This is fairly unacceptable from OG's point of view, I would what say. What even is going on, Anders? They both die as well. <laughs> in celebration. Ah, oh, because of where they planted the bomb, it was just close yeah. enough. Still, this start here, Kusta one for one, that's monster. Yeah. And NBK, he did everything he could this round. It was looking so good for OG, and yet they just completely fluffed it. Automatics arriving with one health. That's too much. Crazy times. Five uh, rounds down our OG at the moment. They were even gifted that third round and all the money that came with it. And, and they've just given it right back. And can't be having that, can we? No, no, it could be. I mean, this this is definitely looking very good for Genji all of a sudden. Eight rounds on the T side versus OG's three. OG, they do have money to go for a buy here. And this time around, it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a presence getting shown here. Uh, Brown Halls towards the B site from Gen G. Nobody currently pushed main. And that's NBK taking it over. So they will have some ground to cover here, Gen G. But uh, it is kind of the group and go towards B, it looks like. They're still holding on to Brown Halls. They've held Pop Dog automatic, you can see. Made sure nobody was able to get up here for information. Yeah. I think NBK, I like what he's doing here. They have so few grenades on the CT side. So instead of just crossing his fingers and hoping for the right timing. He's, he's just going to try and hold on to it until he basically sees someone, I guess. Or until Isa gets pushed back, if that's what's going to happen here. Nope. <laughs> Luckily for him. They started the... Yeah, I was going to say, Mantu was starting to rotate back, and that would have been the wrong move. Valda's going to need him in just a couple of seconds here. Speaking of seconds, 30 of them left, and now they're starting to make their way up on the high ground. Valda could hear that, and somehow he gets bested by the Mac 10, just falling off the ledge. Oh man, I guarantee he's going to be mad. That's Genji just winning the round. And is this is actually just going to be us, what? Uh, no, I was going to say. Our pinnacle points, man. <laughs> it's not looking good. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm digging for that rock bottom at the moment. You know? <laughs> <laughs> at least I've got that. At least I've got you ahead of me on that one. So uh, there's still, no winners still... with the pinnacle points, but there's definitely going to be a loser. So uh... yeah, and we don't. We still haven't announced what the punishment is. That's going <laughs> to be happening on Sunday, I believe. So, so very likely. I, I mean, I've made my own suggestion, so it would be just fitting, wouldn't it, if, if that's what we end up doing? You've made your own suggestion for punishment. That is. Yeah. Oh no. Um, I don't You're know. If be we have you better be somewhere. highly motivated now. Well, it's, it's there's still time. I can turn it around. I'll go all in on whoever is the, you know, the biggest odds. Just you'll, you'll make it all back. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. It's One bet. This oh, this is upsetting. It's actually hard to watch. Dude, a Mac 10 dropping down and winning that duel is insane. I think he even like dinks in mid air or something <laughs> stupid like that, and this works out. Nine to three. I am. Pr I'm. Pr I'm. Pr I'm, I am really shocked. Even if even if you factor in OG, not really sort of as uh, as I think Christine was saying on the desk, uh, you know, fairly that this is their second you know most common ban for OG. Mm -hmm. But I still think I'm still not satisfied. It's not enough. This really makes you wonder. Four players on A right now for OG, just trying to lock it down. And again. 
They got some rifles in this round, but uh, it is going to be Gen G once again showing a little bit of a presence. Oh, it exists through the smoke. And they've seen this before, OG. So what do they read out of this situation? Could be expecting two players out towards Ivy right now. And so the answer for OG, it looks like, yep, to start clearing out main or at least getting a little bit more of a presence over here. Giving up B entirely. And, I mean, it's not such a crazy idea when you have very few grenades and you have really a, you know, a lot of rifles. You've got armor on three out of four players. It's a huge risk, but at the same time, I don't know if, if being, you know, one, one B, three on A is going to be that much better. Roll the dice, and um, looks like they might actually get what they want. Although, I still don't think this will be an easy defense at all. Oh, man, that first shot is insane. That opens it all up. Just like that, everybody getting wiped out. Anders, we've got double digits on the T side for Gen G on train. 10 to 3. Yeah, they are certainly way overpowering my expectations. They're just annihilating OG right now. Yeah. Is this is this just due to, um, I mean, expectations, right? Yeah, could, yeah, I mean, it could be that we're just plain wrong about the level of Gen G, at least in, in this particular matchup. But or, again, it is the third map, but but who knows? Or this is just a hard cast, caster curse. Yeah, like, everyone's been saying next that. level because we full predict Cloud Nine, Cloud Nine lose, and then we all pretty much predict OG. It would only be fitting for there to be. We have that kind of power. Exactly. Maybe. You know, guys, uh... <laughs> he walks right into essentially a, a Cooster and Korea sandwich. Ventet swinging out wide after having warded off for just a second Alexi B on that AWP. He just turns and takes down MBK. And again, they're just winning every single fight across the board. I mean, that does help when you're trying to take any site, really, on any map. If you can just, if you can enter with a couple of kills and not lose anyone... Listen, who needs strats so when you can get yeah. headshots? It's great. Yeah. Turns out that that actually is a is a pretty good winning formula. We've seen that work in the past, and well, Genji, they've unlocked it. They've figured it out. They've gone through those dusty tomes and scrolls of CS:GO strats covered throughout the years, and then they found it all the way at the back of the shelf, Anders, and it was just one piece of paper, and written in bold sharpie was get, uh, get double entry. Just yeah, get double entry. Just hit headshots, click heads. Oh, yeah, of course. It was so obvious all along. It's working out at an incredible uh, level at the moment. Again, 14 and 5 on Chris. Kuster at uh, 13 and 7. And the rest is trailing a little bit behind, but it doesn't really matter when you're winning this much. Who mm. really cares? They have some kills on the other side. Valda is, you know, 3 and 9, and obviously he is you know, one of the people we're definitely going to be looking for to put up a lot on this uh, on this OG team. So not really been happening so far. We're going to go into the 15th round, the last of the half, and I really don't know where OG have gone. They they are currently wondering that themselves. I mean, we've seen this in the past, though, from OG. Obviously didn't think we'd be seeing it now, but they have vanished from the server sometimes, where for whatever reason, nothing seems to work for them, and they just cannot seem to do anything. And even NBK, at you know, he's just... He's even gone for like the tweets, like just getting yeeted out of the server, stuff like that. So, OG are aware of it. They know that this can happen. I just wasn't expecting it to happen here versus Gen G. But I guess that's uh, that's uh, that's <laughs> the usual the usual way these things work. Eleven to three for Gen G going into this final round of the first half. It's a full buy for OG. Double AWP. We this didn't work last time. So let's see if it, you know they can change that around here. OG. This one though. Okay, they're just going to smoke it. That buys them some time to go and check out T-Main if they want to. Of course, that Molotov is sort of slowing them down, but it looks like they kind of do want to uh, go for a bit of a fight here. Walking in around the corner, no flashbangs or anything, but I'm sure it's going to be tested. Kusta's just ready for this instant headshot. Yeah, yeah, the perfect uh, angle for exactly that fight. They've spotted them out, but again, this is just keeping a lot of people on the A side, and they're not really committed to anything yet here, Gen G. And I shot on automatic. He's uh, getting one for the smoke at the very least, but four on four, and looks like the bomb is making its way that pop-up now. That's unreal. Dude, Craze is nuts. Like, this guy, he's 15 and 5 right now. He's just beasting. And while it is still going to be a three on three, Alexi be doing the best he can to buy some time here. He needs to survive to allow for his team to rotate through. Finally gets caught by Bentep, but now his team have made it to the back line. Mantu and Valdu. Valdu trying to work together. 
Oh, they're going to miss his shot, though, and Mountu now in a 1v3. AWP in hand. A dream. And he's going to pick up the first one. Bentet is out, but that's the element of surprise lost. Kusta and Exist now working together with a crossfire established already. Yeah, How I mean, do you get out here? They, I don't think that's even possible. Again, if they just play it safely here, they, you have to go and tap the bomb and all of that. They're going to be a little bit early, but they could have even played it even safer than that. It doesn't really matter. It's 3 and 12 at the end of the half, favoring Gen G. Definitely no longer looking like an underdog, at least for now, but. I don't know what it'll take for OG to wake up in this match. Um, it's going to be a lot, I reckon. Uh, it's a long road back. I mean, even on the second map, right? You don't, you, no one's really been warmed up here, so a little bit tough. We'll find out if they can do anything in the second half. It's coming up after the break. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 12 to 3 at the end of the half in favor of Gen G. We're on train. It's the first map of the best of three. And nothing's working for OG. No. And uh, there was a fun fact that was brought up by one of our uh, stati statisticians. Shout out to the production crew. Eight years ago, NBK and, and Exist played each other for the first time at DreamHack Valencia 2012 in the finals. And NBK outdueled Exist 7 to 2. Doesn't matter, though, because Nip still won. Because at that point in time, Nip were unbeatable. They That's, were gods. That yeah. is what happened, yeah. That was the history. But, dude, these guys have been going at it for eight years now. That's so sick. That's some longevity in the CSGO scene. Yeah, it's one of the things that makes this such a cool space, isn't it? We have these people lingering around for a really long time. I'm watching three HE grenades on Gen.G, which, to me, is, is a sign that they've got some sort of tricky plan. Although, they, Chris, they just throw one of them out there and another one here. So no plans at all. That's really disappointing. But a good shot from Kusta to take down Issa. So I guess guess they don't need the HEs technically. That's Ooh. a nice return. There we go. P250. Putting Exist on notice. Uh, there is a little bit of damage getting taken by Alexia B as well. But Bentet's going to catch out Mantu. Three remaining players for OG pushing out onto this A site. And they are just taking fights straight up against USPs at range. Valda, though, shows up with two big kills. But they are now very tagged up on OG side. Yeah. They're battered. They're bleeding. And yeah, Alexi is just waiting. Yeah, I mean, f seeing if there's a rotation and obviously waiting for Valor to get into position. Although, Kusta is right there. He's just going to shoulder peek it once, see if the timing is going to work out. He may think that he's already checked it. We'll see. Is he going to go for it again? Valor walking in at the right time, and that's just an execution kill. It's so easy for him. If Kusta had checked, you know, a little bit later, maybe it would have worked out. Bomb is being picked up, and Kree is now walking out again. A bullet will almost do it, but he's already been tagged, and now he is low. And somehow, they could actually turn this OG, which you can. I mean, the road back is still very, very long, but it's impressive that they've managed to get this far into the round. Kree with one kill. He does have a kit, so he's got a little bit of time here. Oh, and he just shoots him right in the face. That is amazing. What a one versus two. What was that shot? Was that was so sick! That was so deadly. 17 and 6 on on Chris. That's very cool. Dude, he didn't even have the angle advantage there. He had to swing and insta-give him. No margin for Eric. Dude, Chris is just nuts! Uh, it looks like, looks like he was back around. Yeah, everyone's looking like, what? Yeah! You know that they wrote that off. Like, I, I, wow, pistol didn't go our way. Kind of, that's kind of rough. Okay, fine, fair enough. And then that happens, dude. He's at he's seventeen and six right now. What a badass! But dude, Kusta as well, seventeen and eight. Right. They're well, just popping off against OG. OG uh, just making sure that they can still walk straight <laughs> after that one. OG uh, at sitting at box. three rounds. What? Listen, if I had more points, Semler, I'd be so ready. <laughs> Dude, this is this sort of this sort of made us all back. Are yeah. you kidding me? It's great. Oh, these are map one odds, though. I guess. Yeah, that's true. We don't. Fair enough. Do we don't want to be putting our. Yeah, no, no, no points on this one. If ever at any point in this tournament, there's an o where the opening odds are seventeen and one. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just worth. We still don't know. Um, what it is that OG need, or what it is that isn't really working. They haven't, they haven't shown us much of anything. Gen G are, you know, just playing way better Counter-Strike at the moment. OG seems slightly confused. Exist with a good kill, but he's going to go down right afterwards. Good grenade, but unfortunately, NBK was swinging even as it was coming out. So, 
Pretty quick round. OG not really slowing this one down, and so far that's working. This is essentially what you need in these situations. Just very quick play, get in there. This is exactly what Genji were doing when it was working for Genji, at least at the beginning. It was just very quick, aggressive plays, relying on the duels to carry him through. And well, now you still have the monster alive, the raid boss. And he's wondering if it's going to be B. This is a tough one, although Automatic has worked his way all the way through Ivy. He still has yet to spot anybody. Would be hard for him to spot from that position, though, all the way back in T-spawn. But if, as he clears out main, this might get interesting. It's looking like Mantu's aware of this, though. Yeah, they've called a complete, uh, just a freeze across the board. Actually, that the Genji was doing something similar. When you're that early in the round, I mean, you have time to say, just slow down, see if they're pushing. Got to say, it's impressive as well. Automatic hasn't turned the corner yet. Mm -hmm. Might just be waiting for the bomb plant. But yeah, this, this is a coin flip from really either side. There's the bomb. So yeah, that's when Automatic is going to start to make a little bit of a move. Still being watched here, though. And man, too, oh, he nearly could have had that one Automatic. But yeah, a step forward and he's going to go down. He's no idea. He still gets the kill and picks up Mantu. Oh man, Mantu knew for a long time what was happening. That's really odd. And now it's MBK 1 versus 2 up here in the Sniper Nest. Just, I mean, this is not so easy with the FAMAS necessarily. They do have a kit as well on Krius and it's going to be automatic. Just all three kills going his way. What a strange round. He just got slapped. This is just automatic. What a round from Tim. 14 to 3, Gen G are just mauling OG right now. They can seem to do no wrong. I've been face bombing so hard that our makeup artist is coming over here. So just help me out here for a second to save me. Because <laughs> uh, there have been many the rounds that have just been crazy. I know. Ezer is at 5 kills, Valor is at 7, all the rest are at 10. This is a real mess. I said in the beginning I thought it would be a mess, but I thought it would be Gen G. I was, I was throwing them under the bus before we even got started. Dude. I was that confident. Dude, I mean, this is like the, tr the true power of uh, the Caster Curse. Full display right here. Cloud9 got beat 2-0. And uh, OG are currently struggling mightily on this first map. Granted, it is worth keeping in mind that this is not a good map for OG. Genji definitely got a counter pick involved here. They managed to pull a fast one on OG. And, uh, well, I mean, you can yeah, tell that uh, OG just not a big fan of this map at all. And so keep in mind, you know, we've got Dust2 coming up next, and then Mirage is the decider. This is not done by any means. But uh, this will certainly have been a good map for Genji to kick things off on. No bomb plant means uh, it's going to be pistols, Kevlar. Maybe they can squeak a rifle. Yeah, Galil out. But uh, this is uh, this is just a phenomenal start for Genji in the series. And it feels to me like uh, we're going to get three maps on this one, Anders. Well, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm holding out a little bit. I want to see what the start of that the Dust 2 uh, pick looks like. A lot of grenades going over. It's just nearly getting exploded. That's a cool little trick. But is it going to be quite enough here? Yeah, 15 and 3. Really interesting beginning. It's I think the problem again is like, you know, they're, they're getting beat up so badly that you have to imagine no matter what for OG, even if you say, ah, oh, it's not really our best map or like, no, no matter what we like or whatever, still got to think, well, yeah, but how are we just losing every single duel across the map for like, you know, 19 rounds in a row? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, that can change if you... You know, start off, start off well on Dust 2, right? Like, maybe maybe you forget it a little bit quicker, but... But it would, would be way more beneficial if they could play their way a little bit into this map, at least, you know. Get a couple of rounds here, start to start to really warm it up. Nice shot. Bentet going down. Scout there on Mantu. Still 45 seconds, and the bomb is being brought down. Ivy. Bit scary, though, if he's leading there with the Galil. If he goes down, then suddenly the bomb is being brought in on a scout with 30 seconds left. Yeah, they're, they're running this clock down. Oh, the timing! That is ridiculous. <laughs> and this is—I mean, this works out for Gen G because now they'll just save these three guns for the next round, and it'll be fine. No need to even attempt a retake here. But uh, that is, i that's CSGO in a nutshell, right there, isn't it? You know, hold an angle patiently. The split second that you glance away is when they will peek. That is—it's just written. So it's like a code. It's in the matrix. We we just we all we've all been there. Many, many times. So yeah, they are gonna be saving the guns somewhere across the map. 
And that will give a fourth round to OG. They have to set themselves up for an amazing comeback if it ever gets there, you know. It's always that. Always have to think about that. Automatic holding the one side. Yeah, not even really hunting for it all that much. Just letting it go and and continuing into the 20th round where... Didn't you actually? Yeah, they can still buy an orb there. I think Bentet picking that one up and throwing it over to Automatic. So they're going to have some, some money to work with still. <laughs> Losing it a little bit there. Almost breaking the chair. Just, yeah, just just breaking stuff, Anders. I mean, they're only points, Anders, you know? It's, uh, it's oh, right. yeah. It's <laughs> I love it. You still don't, I'm still very curious to see what the punishment's going to be for last place this week. It's going to be fun. I am too. I'm, <laughs> you know. Hey, you know, it's not like I'm that far behind you either. I'm right there with you, bud. A lot can change. You know, never, never count, count on this. Bentet getting traded. Nice double kill for Isa opening up from main. And they're going to go down onto the B bomb site at what looks like a really great timing. As, yeah, Crazy's going to make a jump and just realize, hold on. Yep. That one jump gives him so much. That just saved them. Quicker rotation coming through. But yeah, that molly. And then the smoke follow up. It's going to be so difficult for Genji now. This is pretty much impossible. Yeah. I think you save again. Well, if you can, because Isa is already out looking for you. And that's really the issue. And hmm. I don't know how they would expect for to, to find Isa that quickly down at Ivy. That's going to feel really odd if, if they suddenly go down. Kuster is about to walk into it. Well, nearly did. But yeah, this is uh, going to be a fifth round. I'm going to walk here for OG. And unfortunately for Isa, can't find that third kill. But yeah, good call. I mean, good timing on that for uh, for OG just as they were rotating into the A-bomb site. What a mad lad. Just went for it. <laughs> what even was that? I guess he expected them to be in brown halls at that point, trying to pull back on the other side, but okay. That was uh, unfortunate there. I was about to say that, uh, you know, Craze can do no wrong, but uh, this time he gets caught and he gets punished. Still, he's right up there. I mean, Costa, Craze, Bentet, 19, 18, 17 frags apiece. Looking very good. And well... Um, over on OG side of things, there, there's a couple guys, uh, you know, getting into the uh, double digits. Several tied at 11, NBK Montu and Alexi B. So, uh, starting to get some kills on the board here. Starting to show some fight. 15 to 5, Genji map point. 10 of them still on their CT side. But this is going to be uh, oh. Oh, bent at hitting a spicy headshot. They just need to slow this down. I mean, they've got some rifles coming in as well, so. Anything you can do like that. Kriya's, yeah, he needs some timing on this. If he goes straight down the ladder, Isa's already watching it down there, or Alexi B, I think. So don't want to be doing it too quickly. Oh, nice shot from Automatic, holding that diagonal angle. And now maybe you could go for it, and this would just be perfect for Gen G to close it out like this. It's going to be 16 to 5. Didn't even need all the guns or anything like that. A couple of good headshots, and they take train away from OG. Only the first map in the best of three, but still... I gotta say, that is really impressive, and OG need to wake up and uh, do whatever they can to get into Dust 2 because that is the second map, and if they can't wake up for that, it's gonna be a huge upset. We'll see how it goes after the break.